Okay, now we have this example. We want to compare between these models and these models, but we should know the number first. So, this number is, let's count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 tens and how many ones? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 ones. So, the number is 55. What about this number here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 and how many ones? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 64. So, always we are starting from where? We are starting from the left. Don't forget this. Okay? We are starting from the left. So, is 55 greater than 64 or less than 64 or equal to 64? Greater than less than equal to we need to put a circle around the correct answer so again is 55 greater than 64 or 55 less than 64 or 55 equal to 64 how can we know we should make a comparison we should compare 55 to 64 if they have the same number of tens and ones, that means they are equal. If this number has less tens than this number, that means less than. If this number has a great, greater tens, that means it's greater than this number. Let's start. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, now it's very clear. 55 is less than 64. Great job. Let's clean our mess. Let's have another example. The other example will not be easy, so be ready for it. Okay. This is my other example. What should we do in this case? Have a look. Here we have a number and here we have a number. Let's know what are these numbers. How many tens I have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times. And how many 1? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 55 is my number here. What about here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And how many 1's? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, Let's compare between them. Is this number greater than this number or less than this number or equal to? We want to count our tens start from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Here. 1, 2, Two, four, and five. Oh my 
God, they are the same. So are they equal? Are they equal? Okay, okay, okay. Let me stop talking. We forget something. What did we forget? We forget to count the ones. When the tens are the same, we should go and compare the ones now. Okay, let's go to the ones. Here we have one, two, three, four, and five. What about here? One, two, three, four. Okay. Now here we have five tens and five ones. Here I have five tens but four ones. So in that case, this number is greater than this number. Excellent, everyone. When this number will be equals? When? Who can tell me when? I will tell you when they can be equals. When the tens and the ones are the same. Like if we remove this one. Now, if I want to do this question, Have a look. Now, after I remove one, one, which one is the correct answer now from this? We have five tens, five tens, and four ones, four ones. So, 45, uh, 54 is equal to 54. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.